What Wilmington residents have asked us as of late is that they want more biking and walking trails in our community. Christine Hughes, who is our, one of our senior planners at the City of Wilmington, will kind of explain what we're trying to do here. You're right. The number one thing we heard from citizens when we were collecting public input for the comprehensive plan was that they wanted more opportunities to walk and bike safely across the city. We've made a lot of strides over the past few years building more than 15 miles of trails. We still have about eight miles left to complete, part of which is funded by the transportation bond. We are working to make sidewalk connections across the city, and in most cases, developers will have to install sidewalks when they build new buildings. And we are encouraging businesses to locate along our cross city trail, just like we have here at the mall, which is conveniently located to the trail and public transportation. Some good examples of businesses that are connected to the Cross City Trail are Independence Mall, where we are right now, Hanover Center, and the soon-to-be completed Aldi on Waltmore. We're also making connections to the trail with some of our parks, including Halliburton Park, Empty Park, and Wade Park. One of the things that we're trying to do is to make certain that the multi-use trails and the pedestrian assets that we have for the city of Wilmington will also be used as alternative modes of transportation for our citizens in the years to come. For each cyclist that I see riding their bikes or people that are using the trail walking or jogging, that's one less car on the road stuck in traffic with me. A great example of a good development underway is the point of Barclay that will be utilizing the multi-use trails to connect residents and neighborhoods with the services at the point of Barclay. Another good example of pedestrian accessibility is the sidewalks that we're putting off Fairlawn Drive and McClellan Drive, giving citizens opportunity and access through neighborhoods to those roads. So that's an important transportation bond project for the city of Wilmington. Well, one of the goals of the Comprehensive Land Use Plan was to put more biking and multi-use trails throughout the community, but we also want to incorporate those biking and multi-use trails closer to high density development, thereby giving our citizens the opportunity to walk as well as ride their bikes if they so choose. So it's a good thing for our community, it's great for the environment, and it's great exercise for our citizens.